Hey, good morning guys or uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm uh, heading out on this uh, beautiful uh, August end day. It started off pretty rainy and now it's kind of uh, not too bad. It's a little warm. <laughs> But uh, it is not too bad because yesterday was 105 or something so and we had some beautiful rain and it cooled it down and now it's about 93 so it's not too bad at all. Uh, so uh, what have I been doing? Nothing, just watching YouTube videos and uh, nothing much. So, uh, and I've been doing some writing locally, but um, more of the same kind, so I didn't want to record stuff which, uh, uh, which is the same thing, and it's kind of boring doing the same thing and, and uh, recording it and uh, showing you guys. <laughs> but uh, today I'm going to pick up another route, which is a 901 and 902, I haven't been on that before. So I'm going to start off with my regular loop, but then um, head out over on the other uh, road. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy that. But uh, what I'm planning to do is, uh, you know, uh, get a little bit more off-road stuff going. So I'm planning to take uh, the Bill Dragu one-day class because I, I kind of, you know, do a little bit of off-road on my own so probably the uh, level one and level two uh, courses are there for him but uh, I'm thinking of skipping level one and then just starting off on level two so let's see how that goes uh, maybe in a couple of weeks I'll try to do a video on that it's a beautiful prosper here this roads all will become uh, four lane roads in a in the future but for now, uh, enjoy this uh, road. <laughs> uh, so that's what's been going on. I I want to go uh, once again to the off-road place and do more practicing there, so that uh, you know I'm totally comfortable. Uh, the street riding has become uh, even better. I think <laughs> I'm getting more comfortable uh, handling the curves. So uh, I will uh, see you guys in a bit uh, once I get to some uh, interesting new roads. Okay, uh, this is where I take the new road from my old uh, loop. So let's see where this goes. Yep, uh, I like to explore these roads. I think I've been on this road once before. But uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> yep, one thing I wanted to uh, tell you guys was, uh, you know, I have the Motaz Adventure tires in my front and back. Uh, the back's doing pretty well. I got about 3,000 miles on it, but uh, the front is starting to cup a little badly, actually. So I'm not sure how long it's going to uh, last. So I might have to uh, switch over to... Uh, I'm thinking of the Dunlop Trail Max because it's like a harder compound. Looks like I, I run my front more than my back, so strangely. I'm not sure if uh, you guys or somebody does that, but uh, maybe I just brake too hard or something. I don't know, but uh, that's what is my plan. So hopefully I will get um, the, uh, at least, uh, you know, more miles than uh, what I had here and then hopefully the tire shouldn't have any issues. I was watching some reviews of uh, off-road on those uh, and uh, those are not bad at all. Uh, you know, uh, Kyle Brach, uh, uh, the Chaparral Motorsports guy, he says the combination he runs is the Dunlop Trail Max and uh, Adventure in the back and he just loves it off-road and uh, if you see the kind of stuff he does, <laughs> it's unbelievable. So if you can, uh, if uh, it holds up to his riding, then I'm pretty comfortable with that. <laughs> so anyway, oh yeah, this is a small road. It's called Farmington Road, going north of 121. Uh, just after I make a left on the 121 from 3356. Uh, 
so uh, yep enjoy the ride and uh, I will uh, keep updating you guys as we go along a uh, beautiful uh, Texas countryside as you guys can see corn I think Still on Farmington Road. I should also start uh, going about uh, doing the roads which these guys do on the group rides uh, because uh, I'm I think I've pretty much done all the main roads here so that would take me to all the back roads and all kinds of small small roads and make it more interesting <laughs> okay this is where we hit a 902 so the 902 will take me across uh, I think Collinsville and uh, that would get me back on the other road which will take me to uh, I think uh, 377 or I can take the 901 and then that will be uh, even better okay the town of uh, Dorchester I guess all these uh, towns are going to get uh, sucked up into DFW eventually. Oh, beautiful train tracks. I love train tracks. I love these trains. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. My dad used to work in the Indian Railways. <laughs> so I have a soft corner for anything uh, concerned with uh, railroad. <laughs> so we cut across this town and go straight over. Uh, where is Preston Road? Now we are approaching the uh, Preston Road, famous Preston Road, going north south from Dallas to Oklahoma. Okay, we just cut across this road and then head straight on over. see how that this road goes uh, you can see some gorgeous views from here looking uh, out west from here Ethel nine miles Collinsville 14 yeah this seems interesting I make is I don't look far enough ahead and another thing is I don't uh, turn my hips as much uh, so those are the two things I'm working on right now as I'm uh, practicing on these roads here <laughs>
start looking ahead automatically my knees open up and it's much much easier and my head goes down so that's the technique Sun is shining straight on my face uh, going west it's always a problem in the afternoon and I have to keep my visor closed otherwise the audio doesn't come through so it's getting a little hot out here <laughs> uh, the good thing is my uh, left handers are uh, my right handers are as good as my left handers <laughs> That's nice. A helicopter up there. I'm not sure. That won't be for speed. <laughs> That's only in Montana, I think. Long sweeping corners. <laughs> Coming to 901. Let's check this road out. 901. Seems like a cool road, it's a little uh, less travel than the 902s I think, but uh, let's see how it is. Uh, I was just wondering if it was gravel road, because if it is gravel I'd be in trouble because we just had a huge rain last night and yeah, we can try mud, but uh, <laughs> I'm not interested in today in doing any of the mud. Uh, it seems pretty harmless though, it seems like a well paved uh, road. Yeah. I love these Texas roads, you know, you barely have any traffic once you come out of here, so, I love it. Look at this, look at this, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I can just be on sixth gear and then just keep going along. I thought the road was turning out there. Uh, that was actually right some other uh, intersection. I didn't think uh, this road was this populated. It looks like uh, it's quite populated. Is that uh, get close to the mirror as possible? That's the aim. It's a little blind. I can't see as far, but looks like it's all right. I like the left, uh, right-handers better than the left-handers. Uh, maybe I'm a lefty. <laughs> It's like a solar farm here, is it? What the heck is that? Do 
Yeah, it's like a solar farm. Gorgeous. district I don't know what that means ah oh, look at that solar panels everywhere I'm not sure if it's good or bad it's gonna be pretty ugly looking from up above <laughs> Okay, we are heading uh, to Highway 56 and then that's pretty much what this route is which is extra then we hit 377 and go straight down and then uh, go to uh, 455 and head back so you know I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video it is uh, pretty pretty good a new route and I thought I hadn't uh, made one in a while so it was good to, uh, chatting with you guys. I uh, will uh, take leave here, hang loose and ride safe and I will uh, see you guys later. There is the 901 going up north further. Maybe another day we will leave it for. <laughs> okay, take it easy guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.